Okay, so I've put together a video of a whole week's antics uh, of what I get up to as a modern day mystic and a few other influences that go around. This is a genuine week and it just happens to have been quite a mental week, but uh, most weeks are mental. So I hope you enjoy it, it's just a bit of fun that I've got to do. Good morning everyone, we are preparing for our Arthur Finley day trip. We're just going to go and meet the other girls and then we'll be on our way. We are on the way, we are driving. So here we all are, just unpacking We're at the college. I'm just about to go in and see what they got on offer. It's a nice day, thank goodness. So we're back home now, it's been a really long day. We're all tired and I now have to do my monthly tarot scopes on YouTube. Kate May, Modern Day Mystic, because it's the uh, beginning of May and that's what I do. So I'm going to do that and then we're going off, off to bed. You know. Good morning. I've just woke up, as you can see. No makeup, hair, put that. So today I've got up early because I've got the May Day St Mary's Church Fair. And now uh, I've got a stall with Mandy and I was meant to be promoting the shop and all my work but none of the flies have turned up so um, I'm just going to take the diary, take the flies and the, the cards that I've got and take some books from the shop and see where we go with that. So I know it's a huge, huge fair, it's always busy so I know it's going to be busy, hopefully I'll get a few uh, contacts from it but it'll be a good day anyway. Colin has got this, it's bank holiday so the kids are off, Colin's got the kids, Josh is going to Roco, Colin's going to see the Avenger film with Ollie, and now I best get myself organised and uh, looking a bit decent or a little scary. So I'm pretty much ready to go, a bit of a nightmare because the internet went down just as you're printing typical and then I've had a message from uh, something that I've got to log on. I also need to be at Mandy's now so I'm kind of waiting for the internet to kick back in and I don't know if it's going to do it so um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to see Mandy and then I'm going to go to bed. So we are on our way. We've got the car packed up. Mystic Mandy. We're on our way to the um, fair. Already had a mare. Got to the shop. Did what I needed to do. Got in the car on our way, thought I forgot my phone, rushed back. No, my phone was in a different bag. So now we're running a tad late and Mandy's putting her foot down as, uh, as we get there. I'm not flapping. <laughs> <laughs> so we've set the gazebo up. Down, that weren't too bad actually. Popping that up now, let's get the stall ready. So I'm all set up, Mandy's just setting hers. It's much hotter than I thought. So we've had to strip off and I might have to go and buy some shorts. This is my little store. And then you've got to see the others that are around. Everyone's still um, setting up really. Gosh, that sounds really bright. It's what you want for the day. We're going to have a little moochie round. There's our man. Pack it up, but it looks quite cute. You learn things from each time. So now I know next time there's a couple of things I'll get organised that I didn't have today. But can't have a Mayfair without Morris dancers. So we've had lots of people come to the store, giving out loads and loads of flyers. We're now having a break and look, just a small piece of blueberry and carrot cake. A little treat. So we've come to the end of the day. People are still here. Everyone is starting to pack up a bit now. Things are starting to get thin on the ground. 
and, uh, and we're packing up. It's nearly four o'clock. It's been a good day, seen lots of people that we know, met some new people. I mean, it's sweet. So, Mandy, Mystic Mandy's packing up. Catch you later. Back home now. Absolutely knackered, it's been a long day. Just doing the dinner, trying not to burn it. I don't want to do The fire alarm's already gone off once. So, I'm going to have a bath, have a chill out, and uh, just do a bit of admin work tonight. And then, uh, I'll finish up tomorrow. Good morning. Now it's uh, getting ready for school time. So the kids are having brekkie and doing their lunch. And that's the start of the morning before I go off to So the kids are at school and uh, now I've got to go and get the food for the shop because I've pretty, pretty much run out. And I've also run out at home. So I'm going to go on the bike and do the food shopping. Oh shit. Right totally loaded up got far too much to carry I've already dropped some stuff down the road but done the shopping now I'm on the way back Oops, to the shop. so just coming into the shop now got a few things to sort out and tidy up and get organized and then we'll, um, we'll be able to be open for the day see what happens today got all the shopping away This is the room that we come in to do that. It's separate from the other room. Just going to get the cards ready and then uh, make a phone call and do it. So the reading's complete now, and now I'm back into the coffee shop because I've got customers and need to do some bacon sandwiches. There. We've just had someone coming in asking us for some gear. They were. That's the second person that's come in our shop asking for marijuana. I don't know what people think we sell in our shop. I don't know. Flashing blue lights and all sorts of stuff. We've got all that as well. We've got a cup of You want a cup of tea? You don't like that. I'm going to go back to your room in here. I'll be handing you that. I've got the chance. <laughs> To go into town, get our euros for tomorrow, which I've now got. Yippee! And uh, I've just done the dinner, and now I'm off out to our Beltane evening at the shop. So this is our Beltane. <laughs> this is turning into a Beltane celebration, isn't it? <laughs> Hello. Oh, I was oh yeah. I work. Well, thank Oops. you. Hi. Until tomorrow. Let's, Let's sleep, sleep awake. awake. May the ladies touch again, rest upon the barren plain with the sunshine and the rain. Let the sleeper awake! So that was the end of the bell tale ceremony, which was good. I've just come home, take my face off, you can see all the cream and shit, and lipsticks will stay on, so that stays on. And now I'm going to do it tomorrow. So I'll get off to bed and now uh, catch you in the morning. Before I go to bed, and um, this is my little Beltane altar. So with my altars, I have something different each time if I want to celebrate a new moon, full moon, or, or a Sabbath. So um, I have the flowers that have just started to come to the end there. But So I have my little card that I put in. This was a birthday card that someone gave me ages and ages ago that represents some things. Uh, and then I have my cards that represent personal things to me. Um, what you would call a pagan spiritualist if I had to have a name. So I'm hugely into the pagan and to the craft and I'm also into uh, the spiritual things so I have a little bit of mixture in my life which can be confusing sometimes and because it's Beltane I have a loving couple representing fertility and new beginnings not fertility for me I'm a Taurus it's my birthday tomorrow so I have some a Taurus that actually somebody bought me that and that's an ex-boyfriend a long long time ago but the Taurus rose quartz because it's all about the love season. This was bought to me, it's got my name on it. Uh, this was bought to me, and it's got now this is weird. So, this has got um, I love pigs, and my brother and his ex girlfriend bought it for me, and she's now passed over. But that 5p is meant to um, bring money luck, and one of my symbols from Spirit is 5p. And I will find 5Ps absolutely everywhere. So it's weird that they bought me that 20 years ago, I'd have said. Yeah, about 20 years ago. 
this is also well over about 22 years yeah that's about 22 years old so quite a long time um, there's just a few trinkets from this week's altar for Beltane and it will get changed again at, at the next full moon. Good morning, still doing my hair, as you can see. And today is my birthday, 44 years young. I'm away from the night, you won't be able to see my wrinkles. So another day, see what we've got going. Oh my god, it's manic today. From the minute we come in, no, from the minute we come in until now, it's just been absolutely hectic. Um, I haven't had a chance for a cup of tea at all yet, so I'm just nipping five minutes to grab a cup of tea before I go in and do a reading and then a class. Everyone's wanting breakfast, and, which is good, but Paula was running late. So originally she said, come in at 10, have a morning lay in your birthday. And at nine o'clock, oh, she's overslept, so I've come in and it's just been manic. So now I'm going to have a cup of tea, do my reading, and then I've got a class. Here's the guy, oh, hold on, hold on. So these are the guys from the course. Say hello. And we just finished the last one. Now I'm going to go into the other room and see who's in there. So this is a birthday girl, so myself and Di. So we just opened some prezzies and then when Paula comes out, we're just doing a reading. We're going to um, do our little cake. There's my little cards. I'm Sonia and Bex there. Just doing my birthday cards. <laughs> Birthday flowers. Birthday flowers. We'll, uh, we'll do the cake in a minute. Oh, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. So we got a cake each. So we can blow. Now we've got one each. We can blow together. Well Make a wish. Hooray! Happy birthday. Who wants some cake? So that's the end of this day. Now I'm going to go out the shop, get my bits for the plane tomorrow, get all my nibbly food and sweeties. And I'm going to go home and pack before I go out for a visit. We've just had dinner, you can see I'm absolutely whacked. Um, the cake was nice though, that was yummy. And it's now just gone six. So, so uh, I have to go and get Ollie over to football now. So I'm going to get on my mean machine and bike. I'm biking over there. Oh, better not put that. So I'm here at the pub with Deborah and, and an anonymous person who's just moved because they don't want them to be on camera. No, I won't come. I won't come. This way. I won't. I won't be. I won't get you on there. So I'm on tea because I've got an early start. You can vouch for me on that. I'm on tea. No, she's not. Jaegers. Where are you? Jaegers. No, I'm not. I'm just on tea. I haven't even got the teapot out here. But uh, at least I'm not at work, hey. Home from the pub, cup of tea, and I have to pack now. It's been a real hectic week, so I need to pack ready to get up here. Almost there. Almost. On the holiday and I'm looking look at my hair. I was running late today because the wife had a reading and I am um, I overslept. <laughs> so we're back in the lounge, back to reality. No more holidays for six weeks. Oh God, I'm not quite mess. So I'm not gonna be on the holiday. So that's it for the week of events. We're back from our holly bob. So today normally I'd be going to work and then doing the class in the evening, but I went to work today late, really late, like I woke up at 10 to 11, or even though I was meant to go in late, not that like late, anyway, went to work and then a bit of a haze today, and Flower's going to take the class tonight so I can get on with all the holiday washing. 